I think we should move to Florida. Florida? Yeah. What do you think? I mean, I'm looking, I don't and you know. can get like a lot for your money. That is massive. Look at the price for that. I'll tell you something, so you're right. <laughs> you seem to get a lot more for your money than what you do here. So what we do, we just up sticks and move to America. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should just go see what you can get for your money over there compared to what you can get for your money over here. Plus we get holiday out of it. Well, Any excuse for a holiday, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Florida might seem like a really random place to go, but we love going to Florida on holiday. It's our favourite place to go. The kids love it. You know, the weather's amazing. And we just think, could this be the place for us? The first house on the list is in Kissimmee, just south of Orlando, and it'll tick all the boxes for the kids as it's not far from the Disney theme parks. Morning. How are you guys doing today? Oh. All right, thanks, yeah. How are you? Noel? Yeah, I'm Noel. Alexander Young. Hi, Hi Alex. Pleasure to meet you. And you? Looking forward to having a look around and uh, seeing what's available. Yeah. This one's 12 bedroom, is it? Well, oh, all right, brilliant. Yeah. It's perfect. Big family? 22 kids and, and mum and dad, you know. So, you say 22? Yeah, 22. Whoa. This yeah. Is so, yeah. Nice to Very nice Alexander. to meet you. Alexander Young. Nice to meet you. 12 Hello. bedroom. What? Uh, 12? 12 oh, bedrooms, cool. 11 full baths. One thing you don't have to worry about in Florida is finding a house that's big enough, you know. I know. 12 bedrooms, uh, yeah. 10, 10 11 bathrooms. bathrooms. Amazing. Would never, ever be a queue for a bathroom it ever. It'd be great. Right, you, you guys must us. have a. In England, right? Yeah. Yeah. You got a big house there? We got a 10 bedroom. All right. Completely different to this. It's an old Victorian house. Yeah. You can imagine. So it's yeah. like 130 year old. She's found the washing machine. There oh. we go. Oh, geez. I apologize. Yeah. Yeah. Sue, are these big enough? <laughs> yeah. 22, good, uh, 22 kids. Yes. I'm getting anxiety. Just thinking of the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Do you own a, a wash and fold business? Wardrobe. Oh, was the practical one. Sue's discovered a massive plus point for this house. Well, here we have... ta -da. The second Another set of washer, washer and dryer. dryer. Upstairs, no doubt. Brilliant idea. This is such a brilliant idea, isn't it? To have it on the upstairs because that's where you put your clothes away. Never mind that. This is a whole full-on lounge but look at Look at the area up here. It's huge. The kids are road testing the beds. Don't worry, Alexander. Sue can always pop a quick wash on. Careful. That's the face of a very nervous estate agent. You are not going on there with your shoes on. No, the ball stays in the room. The ball stays in the room. Archie. Just leave it in here. Let's go. To ease Alexander's anxiety, the kids get their marching orders. Go out. That's a big bathroom, so another big bathroom, huge. But while the grown-ups are distracted by spacious bathrooms... This is nice, isn't it? Come on, kids. It's a luxury show home. You break it, you buy it. Taking the little ones on a house tour was a little bit... Well, it was a little bit crazy. Oh, hey there, guys. What's Can going on? Put back. Put back. Bonnie and Archie, don't touch anything. Hey, kids, uh, right. watch the furnishings. Like, they, they just want to be, like, looking well, at everything, house, into everything. It? They're excited because there's oh, new things everything. to, like, touch. But, bless Alexander, you could see he was getting a little bit stressed. <laughs> the kids have made themselves a little bit at home and yeah. they've messed up the bed. So I'm just going to make it. Mommy. Right, let's get out of here. Yes. They're trying to move in, <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> they are. But this is, this is this. really nice. This is really nice. First impressions, love it. very nice. Really nice, actually. Um, bigger than what I thought it's it was much going bigger. to be. But also, it's brilliant. We've got two dishwashers, two fridge freezers, two washing machines, two dryers, one on this floor and then one upstairs, and 12 bedrooms. It and is, is it 10 really bathrooms, good. I think? Yeah, like that. yeah. So it is Amazing. really good. This would be perfect for us, wouldn't it? Ticking all the boxes. It is good, isn't it? Very nice. Sue's in her element. She's finally found a country big enough for her. Now it's on to the next house, and with the Radford kids full of beans, Alexander's blood pressure might go through the roof. Uh, Bonnie, no. No. Get down. Get down from there. So all your, all your home theatre needs? 
Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Gaming or, you know, movies. That would be yours, buddy. Although they might have second thoughts taking the kids to a viewing. Be careful now. That's just a cupboard, I guess. Yep. Yep, it's handy. Yeah, typical. It's not a walk-in, but it's more than, you know, more than enough. Yeah. Careful. No, no. Is that good, Heidi? Is everyone down? Yeah. Come on, you lot, we're going down. Tilly, come on, Broom. I love this one. I love the view. They're both nice. Yeah. But I think, definitely out of the two, for the price difference, I would go for the other one. Yeah. It's not massive. You, you get a lot more for your money, money yeah. don't you? Not much more money. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Now, don't go too crazy, OK? He may regret this. Learn a driver. After a very positive start to their house hunt, the family head to a local supermarket to stock up on provisions. <laughs> Six rolls or a foot long. Two dollars max seventy-nine. Just the prices for stuff. They're so expensive. Like a bar of chocolate's like five dollars. At home, I can get it for a quid. That's <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Hershey's. America's is just massive candy bars and sweets. It's not healthy. Those are different stuff to what we get at home, isn't it? I know, yeah. So much more expensive, though. After a lifetime of bargain hunting to feed the family, there aren't too many bargains to be found. One thing we hadn't realised was how expensive America's got. It's so expensive. It really is like. Things like an apple in a supermarket, you're looking at like a dollar for one apple, and we go through bags of them every single day. So everything was just super expensive. You know, to eat healthily, it was really expensive. Mm. Things like fruit and veg. The extended Radford clan are taking a break from house hunting to explore Florida. If they're going to move there, they'll need to immerse themselves in the American culture, which means food and sport. You know, you say you come to Orlando, come to America, you want to do something that's proper American, don't you? We want to be part of the community type of thing, really. You want to join in and uh, mingle with the locals. With the temperature well over 30 degrees and humidity around 80%, the decision is taken to play dodgeball, outdoors with no shade. I'm sweating like a kipper. This is the milk operation. This is making sure that everybody's got sun hats, everybody's creamed up. Hallie, here's your hat. The amount of sun hats that we've lost on this holiday is actually ridiculous. It's a good job I bought plenty with me. The weather is taking its toll before the games even started. Uh, no. Sorry, Mum, I'm not going out in this. It's too hot. It's too hot. I'm hot in there. I can't cope with it. <laughs> Teams picked. This game is going to be more a test of endurance than skill. That's Throw it to Daddy. Um, in my team, there's two left, and it's the two younger. You know what? Dad's really competitive, and it really annoys me. Ow. The dodgeball game is over, and the family find what little shade there is. What are we doing playing dodgeball in like 100 degree heat? <laughs> well, welcome to America, eh? <laughs> come on then, should we? Like, come on, I feel like I'm getting eaten alive by ants. The heat is, it's, 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 it's too humid, that's yeah. what I think. We're all sweating constantly. I think it's like nearly 100 every single day. And there's no break from it, there's hardly any shade. And I think it, there's only so long we can put up with it. We've come away to get away from the miserable wet weather in Morecambe. Here we are, 
almost doing a rain dance, trying to make it to rain just to cool us down, aren't we? It's just, it's, it's relentless. It is very hot.